Number 10 from paper 2 of the 2016 air mass. Look, just a wee three mark question. Here, given this expression for y, find the derivative. Two marks. There you go. Function of a function. Chain rule. And then part b for just one mark, something that presumably is related to it. But first of all, find what's this derivative? Well, the pattern's really straightforward. You take the outer function first, power a half, multiply by the power to one of the power. Fair enough. That'll be a half of whatever it's acting on to the power negative a half. Now, doing that gets the first mark. And then multiply it by the inner derivative. You look inside at the inner function. And the derivative of x squared plus 7 is just 2x. And that gets you the two marks without even simplifying it. Glancing ahead, I'm going to write it in a form similar to part b. So that just becomes x, but that's underneath. So that becomes x over the square root of x squared plus 7. Now, there's no need to do that. You get your two marks just from doing the two bits of the differentiation. Now, whereas that would have got you the two marks in part A, writing it in this form, simply by glancing at the next part of the question, makes the second part quite easy to understand. Because looking at them, they're more or less the same. The only difference is this is four times that. Remember, you differentiate it to get this. So if you were to integrate this, it would go back to that. Okay, it'd be plus a constant. So since this is virtually the same as that, the only difference here is it's got a 4 in it. So if you take that 4 out, what's left inside is just that. So the answer to that would just be 4 times the original one. 4 times x squared plus 7 to the power of half, because that's the way it was written. Only plus c. And that was the mark. So the essence of this question was simply looking for the connection between your derivative and the integrand, the part inside that integration. And of course you'd see that easily if you wrote it in this form. It doesn't mention what would happen if you didn't put a plus c in the marking scheme, since there's only one mark for this. It seems to imply, because it's got it in a bracket in the marking scheme, that if you forgot to put that in, you'd still get the mark, because you've got the essence of the question, which was to realise that the integration means going back to the original, and you do know the original.